Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And today was Google I.O. It was done virtually. They announced a lot of really ambitious and cool things. But today we're here to talk about the new Android update that they released a beta for, the Android 12 update, which I do have installed on my Pixel 5. Now this is just the first beta. There will be multiple betas following this one. And in this version, it didn't include all of the features that they plan to roll out. However, I will touch on them in this video, along with showing you the ones that they did include. Also, I will plan on doing update videos when they include a larger feature in an update. So be sure you subscribe so you're notified when that goes live. Anyways, let's get started. So here's my Pixel 5 with the Android 12 beta installed. Just wanted to show off the Google I.O. pins that Google had sent over. Generally, we get these when we attend I.O. Obviously, that wasn't the case this year. Anyways, to begin, swiping down, you'll notice a little S right there in the corner, and I am a part of the Android beta program. It does not have a dessert nickname that kind of did away with those, unfortunately. So it is just known as Android 12. And throughout this video, just make note of different animations. They have updated a good amount of them, along with just visual changes. First off, let's go to the lock screen. And you'll notice just a different overall style to the always on display. And if we go to the lock screen, just a bit of an animation it makes the numbers a little bit more bold just kind of adds to it. It goes down and comes back up. Just a really neat animation. Uh, unlocking the phone. Now, another animation they've updated is when you are scrolling. So let's go. One thing I really don't like is that you have to swipe down twice to get to a setting shortcut, but it is kind of an over scroll animation. It's when you hit the end, you'll notice a bit of an animation. Google has actually called this stretch over scroll and it does work within apps. I noticed on Twitter, Let's go to my notifications. And if I go to the top, you'll notice once I hit the top, it has that stretch over scroll animation. You probably already noticed, but the notification shade has changed even just the overall style of notifications. Here we can minimize that or we can maximize it. In the bottom right, there is an alarm where you can snooze specific notifications. You can still swipe down or tap on the arrow to expand them. And our quick toggles up towards the top are much different. And you can customize this. We'll talk about that in just a second. And of course, this brightness bar is really different. And one thing I want to make note of is there's a really cool feature. I'm really glad they added this called extra dim. So if I press it, you'll notice the screen goes extra dim. So this is very useful. Let's say at night, we're in a dark room. If you hit extra dim, it gets even darker. Obviously, the camera's not going to really pick this up right now, but just very useful at night when you're in bed so you're not blinding your eyes. There are some extra quick toggles coming. I will talk about those in just a second. Now, when it comes to theming, there's more theming coming as well. Again, not everything is included in this beta. However, you still have your standard style where you can customize uh, the coloring overall, the icons, the fonts, and that will give you an idea. So let's go to green. When I swipe down now, here's just a look at what the palette would potentially look like with these quick toggles up towards the top. We can do one more. So let's go to styles and maybe jump over to purple and hit check and then swipe down. And there is what a purple one will look like. So yes, this will all be customizable. And I'm sure you noticed when I went into settings, all of these icons are essentially updated overall, a little bit more colorful, a little bit more bold. Now, jumping into system settings and gestures, going through some of them, you have back tap to uh, do a group of different things where you can require a stronger tap. You still have your swipe down for notifications. However, you can also swipe for notifications from the bottom here. So swiping down, uh, from the bottom where that gesture area is where you can go home, go to your recents, and then swipe from the sides to go back. You've also got the option to hold for assistant with the power button, and you'll see it enables that Google Assistant down at the bottom. However, you can still swipe from the corner to activate it. And back to those animations, like I said, they updated a good amount of them, so when you select something, you'll notice a bit of a sparkle on the left side of what you're trying to select, so with the sparkling, there's a better look, kind of like pixels floating in the air. And a quick note in terms of performance, they had said CPU usage, uh, core usage will go down 22%, and big core usage will go down 15%, just overall within the system UI. So that's pretty exciting, should see better performance and hopefully better battery life. 
So let's talk about what isn't included in the first beta, and that is a lot of theming options. You saw a lot of different changes to the style of the OS. However, there's something they are releasing called Material U, which brings in a lot of changes. Material U will bring custom color palettes along with redesigned widgets that you can customize, essentially putting you in a lot more control of how your phone looks. The custom color palettes that you can manually set will be system-wide and apply to system apps. And I do believe Google will allow developers to use that in third-party applications. Now, also they are adding a feature, it's not in the beta yet, where the wallpaper will create a color palette and then apply it system-wide. So a lot of really cool theme options coming to Android. And talking about Android 12 and just throughout Google I.O. in general, Google really focused on privacy and they have a new privacy dashboard in Android 12 to really customize the data certain applications can use, which permissions you're allowing, like location, camera access. And on top of those privacy features, they're adding a couple new toggles for the mic and camera where you can just toggle them off. So let's say you turn off the camera and open the camera app, it just won't work. The camera will be completely turned off system-wide throughout all of the apps, and that's just a quick setting toggle up towards the top. Those redesigned widgets, unfortunately, weren't in this beta, and looking at them, I think they look pretty good. I like that they're really making a lot of changes aesthetically to Android 12. It seemed like every iteration wasn't that much different, so I'm glad they're giving you more control to customize it and really just revamping different things, such as maybe a weather widget, I'm looking, they have grocery lists. You'll see they're more rounded corners to the widgets. And I do really like the widget that shows the battery percentage on all of your different devices that are connected via Bluetooth. Anyways, that is it for now with the first beta on Android 12. When it comes to if you should install it or not, I've heard there's a decent amount of bugs. I've ran into some myself, so kind of take that as you will. I'd probably wait for a future beta or just kind of wait and see if more people are continuing to have problems. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to click that thumbs up. As always, thanks for watching.